Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo iPad tutorial. This week we're going to do the iPad version of the glow effect in Affinity Photo. This is where we hope to end up today. Uh, we're going to be using the pen tool. I know, a little bit scary. So this is more a tutorial about using the pen tool. There are easier ways to do these selections, but I just wanted to show you some pen tool tips and tricks for today. So as usual, everybody, let's get started. Let's delete everything that we've got here. This is the photo that we are going to start off with. First thing we're going to do is come to our adjustments. We are looking for brightness and contrast, and we're going to take the brightness all the way down and the contrast all the way down as well to 100%. The next one that we're going to do is still on the adjustment layers, and we're going to add a HSL adjustment, and that's this one here. We're going to take the range of the hue all the way down until we get the little, this blue effect. We're going to take the saturation down, and we're also going to take the luminous down a little bit. So I've got about minus 179 on the hue, minus 75 on the saturation, and minus 35 on the luminance. Okay, one more adjustment, and that's gonna be the levels. And just a very slight one, we're just gonna take those blacks down to about 6% there. Back to our layers, we're gonna click on the background layer here, up to the three dots in the left-hand corner here, and we're gonna duplicate that layer. And then we're gonna drag that layer all the way up to the top. Okay, so here is when we're gonna start using the pen tool. Here we go, so select the pen tool. We're looking in the mode here for smart mode and we want about one pixel width here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to take two fingers and I'm going to drag that out really big so I can get a really close look at the glasses. I'm going to start right up here next to the model's head and I'm just going to start drawing around the glasses here. making the selection as close as I can. Don't be too scared to zoom in further with the two fingers if you want to. Get as close as you can all the way around. I find just using smaller, smaller sections between each of the anchors here gives me a better selection. So I'm just gonna go around. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Okay, I'm just gonna close this one up here now. Just close that. Okay, now we wanna select both of these lenses. So I'm just gonna drag up again, and we're gonna go around these lenses. And you'll see on the layers panel here, it's creating these curves, these curve layers. That's okay, that's what we want. So we're gonna go around here. Again, I'll speed it up. Okay, one more here. Just take your time, try to get the best selection that you can. Okay, close this last one up. Just gonna make it a little bit smaller so we can see. So you see we've got these three curves. We need to select all these curves. So we're gonna select each one and it's gonna put a selection around here. Now we need to get all these sort of joined so it's one selection. So we're gonna come over here to these three dots in the left-hand corner, down here to geometry and we're gonna hit subtract. And then we can come down to the bottom here. It's just put one curve layer now on the layers palette. We can come down to here to our selection. We hit selection, it'll keep all those selections, the frames and the lenses. Fantastic. So up here, back here to our layers, we're gonna hit the little plus symbol and we're gonna add a mask. Selecting that layer, which is the selection and the mask, we're gonna come back to our adjustments and what we're looking for now is invert. So we're just gonna invert that, gives us that nice sort of blue glow. So I'm just gonna hold one finger on the iPad and deselect now, and then make that a little bit smaller. So one last little thing that we're gonna do is back to the layers palette. We're gonna hit the plus again, and we want a new pixel layer, and we want the pixel layer on top. So we're gonna to come over here to our brush tool, and on our brushes, we want a nice soft, brush which is in basic all the way down here and just pick a nice soft brush. On our colors here you can see I've already got the color selected but to get that color we want this little eyedropper here. We want to drag it down onto the glasses and then make sure we hit here to select that color. Okay on our new pixel layer first of all we're going to have maybe an opacity of about 50 and a flow of about 50 and a fairly big brush down here with the width. What I'm gonna do is just go around these glasses and just touch them to get that glow around them. 
Okay, they're gonna drop the opacity to about 30 on each one of these and just a smaller brush now. It's about there and I'm just gonna put some glow just in some other areas where it would be. And I'm gonna come up here to the layers and the layer options. I'm just gonna drop the opacity a tiny bit, maybe to about 60, 61. And also on that layer, I'm just gonna add on the FX here, just a little bit of Gaussian blur down the bottom here, maybe. So everybody, we've gone from this picture here to this picture here, that glow effect in Affinity Photo. There is also a desktop version on my channel if you're interested in the desktop version. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, some tips and tricks on the pen tool. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.